Um, blockers again. Just talk about blockers. I could probably talk about blockers every day. Um, everybody said, why do you write blockers? And I'll just give a good example. I have some friends of mine trying to do something and I'm helping them out to put things together. And uh, there was an opportunity to do something and nobody told me about it, right? They're all like, oh, we can't do it. Don't have the ability to do it. And they wait a whole entire day until the next day to tell me they're blocked and they can't take advantage of this. So by doing that and all they want to do next day, well, I can't believe we can't make it. We can't do this. I'm like, why don't you tell me as soon as you have an issue like, like the night before? So I lost an entire day of helping everybody. I had to scramble most all throughout the day, calling people. Can you do this? Can you just get a camera? What do you got? What's what's going on? So it was a really great opportunity for a great interview for somebody. And uh, I scrambled. I got some backups and we just we, we, we lowered the MVP expectation or what the services were, because this is how you work with a product owner. Though I'm not the product owner, but I can act like a product owner sometimes um, where they said they couldn't do it. I wish they would have told me the night before, so I wouldn't have been scrambling and panicking and, and calling people and trying to figure out how to do all this stuff I could have done the night before. And everybody can be ready and prepared the next day and, and better ready to go. But no, they wait to the next day after the event happens and they get stuck and they're not happy and stuff like that. It's a whole day lost, right? So if they would have just told me and made a blocker and said, text me, in this case of the text, Greg, can't do this tomorrow. I'm disappointed. What are we going to do? Um, can you fix it? I probably want to let me see what I can do and I'll, I'll let you know in the, in what we can do. Because I had no idea this opportunity was coming up. And we transformed everybody, got everybody moving. Here's an example of the product owner modifying the requirements. When we were going to do the videos, we have a, a gentleman who's really good at this stuff. He's got some high-end equipment. I can't say where he works. I probably could plug it because who really cares? But let's just say he does filming for like NFL films. Like, so he has got high-end, expensive, beautiful equipment. You can do an interview. I can't do it because the guy's not available because guess what? It's NFL training camp season. Duh. <laughs> I should have thought of that. It's like, yeah, now I understand why you're telling me he's not available when you don't have the equipment because it's NFL training season, right? Right. The training camp. They're all at the camps filming. So all the guys with the real good stuff have been hired to go to the camps and film the look and, and like the Eagles and other teams and film them in football. So anybody who really has any good equipment is not available right now, right? So I'm like, okay, look, I want to capture this this interview. It's really important. Great person to go interview. Dude, I called another guy. He had an iPhone. He had he had really nice um, leveling equipment. You know, that the hand holders, the tripods, and everything. So we just did it with a bunch of iPhones. One person had it a mobile, kind of doing the interview. One couple of iPhones sitting in different locations. I wish I had a GoPro. I talked to my wife. Get me. Let me get a GoPro for my birthday. But you know, put the cameras in different spots, just like we always hear in this, these YouTube sessions. And it came out pretty good. We captured what we wanted. We got some info, but we didn't miss the opportunity. Oh, we're live. Oh, pardon. I was dancing. My hair's a little scary. I need a haircut. I'm getting like my picture with the little thing sticking out. That's me. Right. Hey, good morning. Happy day. 